Hello and welcome to Flex Fitness. This week's topic uh, for fitness tips is going to be talking about intermittent fasting and low carb diets. Uh, so trending a bit, they've been around for a long time, uh, but things come and go and that's why they call them trends. Um, so when I talk about intermittent fasting, there's different rules. Uh, you could do intermittent fasting for six hours in the day, for eight hours in the day, 12 hours in the day. Um, the general rule, uh, or the gen the more popular one that people do is the 16-8. I myself do that, it works really well with my routine because of work. So 16 hours of the day, you're not eating unless you're having water or a black coffee, even uh, having some milk or cream and that's not gonna throw off your fasting. And then you have an eight hour window where you will eat. Now we wanna make sure that we're still eating healthfully and we're staying within our caloric uh, uh, intake. So whether you're in a deficit or a maintain or you're building muscle, we want to make sure that we're hitting those numbers for protein, carbs, and fat. Uh, we don't want to think just because we're doing intermittent fasting that we can go and eat burgers and fries and go way off the scale. We still want to stay within our parameters. Uh, but this is a great tool and a great way to hopefully keep us within those parameters because it's keeping us uh, from eating for 12 hours in a day where we that might allow us to push over our calories. Um, Okay, so uh, there are other things. Uh, occasionally I'll do a 24 hour fast, uh, which might be a little aggressive for some people. Um, but it is, a, it is a nice thing to mix in if once you get used to the 16-8 rule, and maybe you're, you're finding you're not getting the results you want, you have to tweak what you are eating in that eight hour window or throw in a 24 hour fast here and there. But it definitely will help uh, reduce the amount of calories that you're taking in, therefore, you in a caloric deficit and we will see some weight loss. Now we throw in exercise there, that's gonna speed up your results. You're burning more calories and you're eating the same amount, so you're gonna have an even bigger caloric deficit. So pop intake versus output. Um, now, the other flip side of the coin is you may find yourself plateauing, even though you're doing intermittent fasting, you're staying in your deficit. We want to start maybe looking at the carbohydrates. So a low carb diet has become popular. Uh, keto is an extremely low carb diet. So for, it's not for everyone to do uh, get into ketosis, um, but there's just low carb, so that would be closer to 100 grams of carbohydrates per day. Um, and that would be something where you can look at net carbs or total carbs. Total carbs um, is everything that you're eating in for the whole day, so that will include your fiber, because fiber isn't used in your body, it's not digested for energy. So fiber just goes right through. That would be part of your total carbs. Your net carbs will be things that your body's using for energy and breaking down. Um, so most people doing ketosis will, will count their net carbs and, and their total carbs, things like fiber isn't part of the total count. Um, but, but it's really hard for people that are doing ketosis to get enough fiber. So it is important to still track that you are getting enough fiber. Uh, fiber is gonna be in many different things, often in fruit and veggies. Uh, but we want to choose the right ones to, that are lower carbs, so we stay within our carbohydrate allotment while still getting enough fiber. Um, but low carb diet is really, uh, I find it great because it really highlights how fast you can add up those carbohydrates, and especially those bad ones, those starchy carbs, those simple sugars as opposed to complex where your body will actually break down and use more readily. Um, processed foods, so we don't want to be a dirty keto diet or dirty low carb where we're eating you know, lots of processed foods or just uh, high, high fat, like going way over with saturated and, uh, un and um, trans fats, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're staying in our parameters, but we're still eating healthy foods, okay? Uh, the low carbohydrate will definitely help you. It's something that might take a while for you to adjust to. Um, so I would have to talk to your doctor before you do any kind of changes, talk to your doctor because they know your history, talk to a professional, personal trainer, someone that maybe has done it themselves, but get a lot of information before you make any change. Um, it's worked for me, it's worked for many other people, but it may not be what's for you. So do your homework, do your research, reach out to the right people, talk to the right people, and make your decisions accordingly, okay? It's an educated decision, instead of just following what your friend did, or what you see on social media, or what you see um, just in your news feed. Um, do your homework, be smart about it, ask lots of questions. Um, ask a lot of questions, sorry, that's my mother correcting my grandma right there. Anyhow, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about today's topic or any of our other videos, just follow that beautiful, amazing link at the bottom there. I look forward to hearing from you, take care.